talked about the seam as the next part of it. And tell me what you mean by the seam. Well, when you and I were, were growing up in the business world, there were, there were a lot of ideas about strategy that kind of fell apart when the internet revolution occurred. And I think today, the speed of the world, the speed of change really defines strategy or perhaps redefines strategy. And that's what I talk about in the book, that if you have an idea, you need to test it against an opportunity. And the opportunities occur when there's a fracture in the status quo. Now, right now, just about everything in our world is a fracture in the status quo. We're, I mean, in a pandemic, at least here in America, it's been a little calmer in Australia. We've had to find new ways to work and learn and exercise and connect. Uh, and so, and, and sometimes, you know, when I, I had COVID, my wife had COVID, we were quarantined for 60 days. We had to find new ways to eat, <laughs> find new ways to get grocery when we couldn't leave our house for 60 days. And it created lots of pain, but it was a fracture in the status quo that also created lots of opportunities. I predicted last March that there would be more startups in America than any time in our history, and that has come true. We've had a lot of business failures, unfortunately, but we've had more startups than failures. And so the seam is it's this combination of, of speed and space and time. And it, it, it's it, when I spent time in Australia, I just got a, uh, addicted to Australian rules football. And, and, and it's the same sort of thing is that you find this opening and you take that ball as long, far as you can, as fast as you can until the seam collapses. And then you've got to find another way to go forward. And that's really what strategy is about today. It's about applying that spark that idea, which starts the momentum. And then you you drive through that scene, just like you did with your blog. I remember those days. I remember how consistent you were, the risks that you took, the generosity that you had with other people. And you were pushing and pushing and pushing new ideas, constantly trying new ideas. You were always pushing new seams. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. But the ones that did, boom, you would, you would shoot through faster than almost anybody else. So, I mean, you're a great role model for that. And, and, and that's what we need to do today too. And, and it, it, it can be as simple really as the HubSpot thing is starting a blog. It's probably not that simple today, but you can test things today in, in many ways, like you, can, you, like you never could in the past. Yeah. And that's, what's really fantastic about the digital world in which we live is we, you can, yeah. you can test fast, fail quickly and do it at low cost. Even even crowdfunding has sort of rewritten the rules of of testing a seam. Yep. Yeah, I, I I am so privileged and grateful to be living in this time in the world, despite you know the you know the good things as well as the bad things. And I think yeah. uh, we're in the middle of just incredible change. It almost makes my head spin. And uh, the other thing that is important is you said you know the seam. You got to go for it. And this leads us to another part of the discussion I think we had before was uh, you never arrive and going, I'm here, this is it. I have arrived because change is constant. You have to keep evolving and to keep looking for the next thing. And that could be a still in the same industry you're in or a or part of it. So I think as entrepreneurs and as humans, it's very important to keep evolving on the journey that we strike out on.